What's up, guys? Justin here with another poorly reviewed beer. Today from Downingtown, Pennsylvania. This is Victory Brewing Company and their Anniversary 20 Experimental IPA. See what the brewery has to say about this beer. This refreshing session ale delivers citrus and pine notes from unique experimental hops. Two decades strong and we taste mighty fresh. Cheers to 20 years of victory. Malts used are Pilsner and Kara Pils. Hops are Idaho 7. Checks in at 5.5% ABV. Now, before we go any further, I bought this beer from one of my local bottle shops fairly recently. It was in the last month or two. And um, in doing the research on this beer, I found it was released in January to March. And I took it a step further and checked out the bottle. And it's actually set to say on the side of the side of the label here, enjoy by 11 June 2016. So that's a little bit of an error on my part, but we're going to give it a try, see how it turns out. But um, hopefully there aren't any uh, aging issues associated with this bottle. And if there are, then uh, I need to be aware of that and you need to be aware of that as well. So that being said, let's give it a pour. Decent amount of initial carbonation, though it went away very quickly. Still some bubbles shooting up through it. Uh, nice golden color. Uh, the hold up to the light, getting kind of a, maybe straw highlights on the edges. That's a really pretty color. And maybe, maybe half a finger's worth of head on it. Let's, uh, let's give it a sip. Seems to still be quite tasty despite the the age. Uh, hopefully it has. I don't think it's uh, hurt it too much. The extra few months. Uh, some tropical fruits are leading off at the front and getting uh, some bitterness from the, the hops as well. Um, tropical fruit, papaya, mango. Um, Maybe just a hint of citrus as well. I'm getting a little bit of the of a pine note as well as it said in the uh, in the description. Maybe some melon notes as well, and a, a good amount of maltiness. Surprising amount of maltiness for a, for an IPA it makes for a nice balanced IPA. Moderate amount of bitterness, nothing too uh, too overpowering though, and um, pretty clean, crisp finish overall. But really tasty and a re real nice flavor mix, flavor balance. So the, 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 the pine's pretty mild, kind of the, the tropical fruits are really what are are the most obvious. Um, so the fruits overall, I would say, not just the tropical, but a little bit of citrus, maybe a little bit of. Uh, a melon note as well, and then the pine kind of is in the background a little bit, and um, and then the bitterness as well. But um, nice little uh, nice IPA. Good stuff from Victory Brewing. Uh, before I get out of here, I do have a couple of program notes for you. So coming up for our next few reviews, we'll be uh, celebrating Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest. Saturday is the first, I believe. Am I correct? Yes, I am. Saturday is the first of October. So we'll be doing, I'll be doing the first of three Oktoberfest videos. Uh, three videos total, two beers per uh, video. So that'll be six Oktoberfest beers I'll be reviewing overall. That first review will come on Saturday, October 1st, with the next two coming uh, early next week. Um, and then... That will lead up to the 50th uh, PRB video here on YouTube. Uh, and so I have a very special side-by-side -side beer tasting that I'm going to do for that video, that 50th video. Um, you can find all of our reviews, both video and written, uh, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. 
You can also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. Those links are in the description below. And if you are so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. That does it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. See you next time.